no, no. All right, so we are now live. <laughs> Hello, Facebook Live. Welcome Hello, to everybody. another behind-the-scenes recording. Oh, that's that was nice. Yeah, you can hear. Take these I, I can hear that. Jingle. Kind of well, like it, kind of don't. It's nice. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, welcome to another behind-the-scenes recording yeah. of our show. Uh, this is your host Mark Torres. I am here in the GHR studio with Dominic no Definition Man Pronto from Pronto Comics. Hello. How we, are you? We have our senior correspondent Charlie Saladino. How you doing? We have Zambo the Engineer from GHR. Hello. And we have our special guest uh, who we're going to be talking to with and about is Jen Elise Feldy. Hello. Um, so um, we, before What's we start... What's the difference between talking to and talking with someone? Well, we can talk with them, but we can talk to them. Or we can talk <laughs> at them. <laughs> or under them. This feels talking, very talking, talking with them is discussing a subject with the person about something else. A dialogue. So we yeah. can talk about the uh, Power Rangers, and then we're talking with the person about Power Rangers. We're talking to the person about a specific topic, which is usually the person who we're talking to. Why is Power Rangers the first thing you go to? <laughs> because it was the Power Ranger convention that we went to, the PowCon. It was part Power Ranger convention, which we're going to be talking about in a little bit when we start the show. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to yeah, be well, a grand old time. Yes, we did. It was a, a lovely time. Was had by all. Yes, um, but before we do that, we're going to um, do our house cleaning. So, uh, for those of you who have been watching us, today is the 29th of January. We're going to be taking our winter break. So, this is our last live Facebook show behind the scenes until March. Um, we will still be airing new shows every Monday. Um, keep looking up on our Facebook page, and that way you will know what's going on. Um, also, on the 5th of February, we're going to have our live show, our 29th live show. Uh, at the Samania Mall, formerly the Source Mall, uh, with you know, every time you say that, I think of Samania. the opening of the Lion King. Uh, uh, Samania. Samania. <laughs> um, just, just, just saying. We're going to have a writer, artist Jay Hewer, <laughs> and that up. wrestler Kip sure. Francis Stevens. <laughs> um, we'll be giving away. I think he's going to give away a print, and I'm looking to give away some uh, tickets to the Big Apple Con, of which uh, Jason Day or Frank is the headliner, along with uh, Jim Lee. And I believe uh, that's it for the uh, house cleaning on my end. Dominic, do you have any house cleaning? This evening, if you come down to Industry Market in Huntington, that's right on New York Avenue, from 8 to 10, there will be the Carve and Paint Pottery Night. We're going to be doing some mugs and some coasters. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Right? Close enough. That yeah, mall. It's pretty yeah. Yeah, That mall. Yeah, that mall. From now on, when we talk about that mall, we'll play. we got to do that. <laughs> All right. We got to right. go. We'll I'll be at the Savannah uh, Mall. Okay. okay. There you okay. go. Might actually drink, bring some traffic to that place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What it's a, like? It's like those abandoned ghost towns. It's like it really a zombie is. apocalypse. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so tonight from eight to ten, come on down. You get a free glass of wine. I believe it's fifty dollars at the door. I should know this because it's my event, but you know, sometimes you forget. Or you can go to uh, my Instagram page, look at the bio, click the link, and get it in advance uh, mm -hmm. for forty dollars. And then finally, the next. Uh, Moonlight Pottery at Island Pottery will be on the 7th of February. We're going to do a special one on the 14th because no one's original. They all want to pretend to do the ghost scene yeah, on the 14th. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, that's what people do. Please don't pull a Swayze. You will get oh. kicked out. Or at least chew. I out. always tell people, first rule of pottery, don't pull a Swayze. Yeah. He comes along and he messes that pot up. <laughs> you know, just don't yeah. be that guy. <laughs> or keep your shirt on. Keep literally, your shirt keep your on. shirt on. <laughs> Please. Unless you look as good as Patrick Swayze without a shirt, and I can tell you for a fact I do not, <laughs> keep your shirt on. And how much are uh, tickets for that? That is sixty dollars. Sixty dollars per two person. Hour, per person, you get two hours of making pottery fun with me and my my, my lady, and it's great. All right, yeah. um, Charlie, do you have any uh, no house just feeling you want to mention? And, uh, happy to be anywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, you also any book forgot. signings coming up, Charlie? <laughs> Yeah. I also forgot Maybe. that the uh, Indie <laughs> Art Show is happening this weekend at the United Irishman on the 1st. So if you guys want to check that out, it's a free event, and it has um, uh, some independent artists, some local artists on Long Island. Long some Island. really, really good artists. And yeah. the Nutty Irishman has a, a, the macaroni and cheese cheeseburger, which I love. And also beer. I don't love beer. Yeah, beer. I know you don't. Uh, but it's at a bar. It's a bar convention, Indie Ir uh, the Indie Art Show by Fat Guy Inc., so... That's going to be happening on the 1st. Uh, Jen, do you have anything you want to mention that's going to be happening between now and the next couple of weeks? Because this is Facebook Live. We're sure. on live right now. So how's it I'm teaching a class on Sunday about insomnia and how to feel your best nice. on Sunday at 12 to 
So it's for. Is it at a.m. or p.m.? Okay. Um, definitely noon. I'm not well, a morning person. But if it's uh, <laughs> because you're have insomnia. But if it's insomnia, it should be at a.m. <laughs> Oh, you're right. <laughs> They're already up. Yeah. 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 Right. You hmm. Can't sleep. Come over here anyway. Yeah. Come to my bed. Come to my house. Come to my living room. That, that's really comforting. Don't, don't, don't come to our house. Do <laughs> not. Please do not. Do not. Yeah. Do not. No. So wait, like this is how to beat insomnia or how to mm-hmm. deal with a night of no sleep. It's actually how to get insomnia because a lot of people want it. No, it's how to how to beat it. You're gonna yeah. beat it like Mike Tyson, can, and we're also gonna beat, yeah optimal you, health. People can take my insomnia. I don't need it anymore. They're welcome <laughs> to have it. Ah, uh, yeah. How much is that? It's free. Oh, a free event. Where yeah, where is it? Thrive and Hop Hog. Thrive and mm-hmm. Hop Hog. Mm-hmm. Is there like a website or? Yeah, the Thrive website. They do a lot of different classes there. So Sunday it's wellness and towards my neck of the woods. Focus. Nice. Yeah, you're welcome to come. And I'm giving out my insomnia checklist, which Hell is only for clients. Yeah. All right. So there you go. All right. So I think we are ready. Are we ready, Zambo? Uh, yeah, I believe we are. Let me Everybody's ready. Start this up. I think Jennifer, you need to pull the microphone just a little closer. You can use the that, just a smidgerino. This whole thing. You're good. Like that. Yeah, just like that. the battle right. of the low That way you can be. Yeah, uh, that's you're more comfortable because yeah. I saw you like. Uh, oh yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, All right, we are here ready. we go. The following is brought to you in part we go. by MFC Studios. The views of the show's host and guests do not necessarily reflect those of the management, owners, or staff of this radio station. And now, it came from the radio. Yeah, and toy, and welcome once again to a Came From the Radio, the official show of the Big Apple Con. This is your host, Mark Torres, speaking with me in the GHR studio. We have our senior correspondent, Charlie Saladino. Hello, fun seekers. We have our very own Pronto Comics, Dominic Definition Man Sperano. I'm already very confused. And we have Zambo, the engineer from GHR. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> and we have our special guest who we'll be going to be talking to with and about. It is Jen Elise Feldy. Hello. Thank she God. is a actress, uh, writer, comedian, um, wellness uh, guru. Um, what else did I? Singer. Makeup artist. Makeup artist. Um, singer. That would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Not a singer. Sure. You Co- sing colloquially. You sing. All right. You ride horses. No. Okay. No. Definitely. Not. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff was, out there. I was disabled for three years, so I avoid anything that's. I, I'm very risk averse. Are you oh. a painter? Yeah, I used to be actually. Uh, in, you know, there I was, you go. I was a studio art minor in college, but now nice. I create bodies. So now I take my art. I rather create bodies and minds rather than paintings because that doesn't really help anyone. Mm-hmm. Seems very shallow for me to do that. How's that going, Doctor Frankenstein? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it, a lot of people are a lot happier. So. That's so <laughs> we're going to nice. be talking to with and about her. Do you mind like recreating my and my lady's body because she's having trouble? Sure, <laughs> I could try. <laughs> that's all that matters. Is trying. Well, um, she wants to. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yeah. oh, she wants to. Oh, yeah. Then so, definitely. in addition to that, we're also going to be talking about the PowCon, which happened this past weekend, although we're going to be airing this much later than uh, this, w- this week. Mm. Uh, we have two interviews we're going to air, so it's going to be a whole bunch of show. I kissed a Power Ranger, and I liked it. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. Um <laughs> Well then. But before we do, by the way, did you did he ask for consent before he kissed you? He said. No, he asked he said, me for he told consent. Him. Yeah, he told me. And him. I said, I said, your girlfriend's right here. And he says, and she says, oh, it's all right. And it just happened. Yeah, and I wish I had a picture of that. Yeah, I wish you I had and me a picture both. Of that. I wasn't ready. My confusion for it. grows. Yes, I wasn't ready for it. And I told him, yes, I do do have the sore on my lip, but it didn't matter. <laughs> he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> Um, before we do any of that, we're going to take I'm away with so the disturbed. super, extremely vertically challenged news. The news is brought to you in part by your fine folks at the Big Apple Con, which we are the official radio show, uh, celebrating over 23, 4, 5 years of uh, pop culture news. I always forget. And comic book stuff. For more information, go to www.bigapplecc.com. Their next convention is going to be on April 4th and Fifth? My birthday, and just the fourth. Yay. Just the fourth. Yes. <laughs> They're going to be having um, headliners such as none other than the original Green Ranger, Jason David Frank, and also super artists and uh, one of the founders of Image, 
who's now working with uh, DC and the Wildstorm Productions. Jim Lee is going to be there. Good old Jim Lee. So, uh, yeah, so we have that. And we're also going to have our shout-outs for our Patreons, of which there are Danny Grillo, award-winning director Jared Burrell, Two Sentence Horror, Kyle Horn, Millie Portes, Newsday Famous Dress and Media, Unji Kun, and Shadow Rabbit Art. Also want to do a special non-Patreon shout-out to Greg Iosa. And I want to give a special, special uh, non-Patreon shout-out to uh, Mythic Games. On 2011 Hempstead Turnpike, they sell trading cards. They do board games. They do collectibles. Um, for more information, go to uh, www.mythicgamesny.com. Or you can follow them on uh, what is it? Facebook, Instagram, and I don't know what that one is. What's that one? What's that? What's that symbol there? I don't know what that symbol is. I honestly have no idea. Okay, Let so Patreon, see. Patreon, and, and, a third, and, a third, and a third symbol, which I do not know. That is Discord. Oh, Discord. There you go. Discord. Follow them on Discord. Yes, on Discord. That's that's Discord why, is a online chat program. There you go. Follow that's why them. Zambo gets the big bucks here. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I'm not just an engineer for nothing. Yes. Tadwunch. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be here all week. Try to veal. So um, we just have one quick bit of sad news because we have a lot to cover. I use that every time I do a workshop. Um, like, thanks, everyone. Don't forget to try the veal. <laughs> here all week. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tip your waiters. Yeah. So uh, we just want to mention that uh, Terry Jones uh, had passed away uh, from frontal temporal dementia. Uh, he's writer, mm-hmm. actor, and filmmaker, best known for his work on Monty Python. Uh, he directed uh, Monty Python Holy Grail. He was in there. Right. Um, he was a, a spry 77, so just wanted to throw that out there for our thoughts and prayers wow. on all that stuff. Um, you were back in the time when uh, back yeah, as a senior correspondent. I was, in college, I was back in the day. It was uh, Monty Python was the biggest thing uh, going. It was uh, very innovative. It was British comedy, uh, and uh, it was wonderful listening, uh, watching when you were totally stoned. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> All Not right. that I was, it just I heard. You of the show's host and No, but and yeah. <laughs> no, but it was very inventive, very funny. Um if you look at any of those episodes from back then you'll see why it's along with Faulty Towers, it's two of my greatest British shows. We got um you're also a fan of uh Monty Python there, Dominic, Jennifer? Zimbo? This bird yeah. is no more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has ceased to be. Yeah. I would think that'd be yeah, a yes. Jennifer, you're yeah. a fan of Monty Python? I have a collection in my basement. There it's a go. friend's collection, though. <laughs> so who I moved away? So now it's mine. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Now it's your collection. Was well, it possession of nine tenths of the law? Sure. Yeah. I'm happy to give it back. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the uh, the PalCon because we have two interviews that we wanted to get into. They're, they're short interviews, but I wanted to mention it. Um, it was this past weekend, which was January 25th and 26th, uh, PalCon, which would be palcomiccon.com. Um, In the motherland for me. I had, yeah, Brooklyn. 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 I had an amazing time. Oh, my God. It Charlie was, had an amazing time. We both had amazing times. Yeah, it was it was fabulous. It was, uh, it was a good, good time con because the flow is great uh the parking was decent the was parking good. as i always love yeah. parking this food this brooklyn food uh, we had the best chicken sandwich oh there. my god brooklyn food yeah uh the parking i parked right across the street so that's awesome i love free parking um the convention itself was 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 great it had a, a good um spread yeah of different celebrities they had uh, tons of artists tons of indie artists they have video games there they had some panels a power ranger panel uh we had the most amazing raw interview wow with yeah. Christopher Kamen Lee yeah. um, he's the uh, red ranger of the power rangers in space i can't believe how that came to be we we sat down for what was going to be a 5 or, minute, you know, interview. minute interview and we were now there for about a whole, half hour we're a whole show on it yeah you know, we sat yeah. down together we went to the vip area he he he, he treated us like we were royalty yeah, <laughs> and he just went on 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 that stuff, and we will play that interview in its entirety with a lot of cursing um, at a later date. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just can't wait. <laughs> it was it was an amazing thing, <laughs> and I have to say, all the talent was really really um, cordial. They were they were very open to interviews, with the exception of one person person, and uh, very very nice and wonderful to everybody who was there. And I want to give a special shout out to Sandra Crummel. Uh, she is Creative Style Cake on Facebook at Creative Style Cake. Uh, she had um, she was giving us the the sweets, but you were like, I don't want. Sweets I know because I can't, I can't do it. it. But she gave. What can me... you do? That's my I man. Sweet. <laughs> I say as I eat these <laughs> Snickers in front of you. She had um, a chocolate covered um, encrusted uh, Oreo 
and she had all these other oh. different types of cakes you can make, like uh, like our friend Christy from uh, Custom Cakes by Christy, but she does that as well. Um, it was good. It was tasty, and she was the sweetest sweetest lady. It was her first time ever being at a yeah. convention, so I nice. want to give her yeah. a shout out. Oh, nice. So shout I out had to that. walk walk past there with blinders on because. Not only do you see it, but you smell it. It's it was great. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Um, while Bill's was there, as we as we like to know, um, the Power Ranger panel, which was awesome, and I and I embarrassed myself because as I oh my as god, I tend you embarrassed to me too. I was, mind, I was next <laughs> by, to you. by association. Yes. So as 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 things happen, as I as I like to mention, I go to conventions quite often, and I have see lots of celebrities and whatever. But there's questions that are in my mind for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And one of them was and with, some uh, of them surface <laughs> at the most inopportune time. So yes, uh, one of them was um, when I used to work at Blockbuster. We used to get um, advanced uh, booklets of all the movies that were coming out. And I could on see video. Christopher now. Why is he <laughs> saying that again? Go ahead. So it was at the panel, and uh, it was a question, and it just popped in my head because I had intended to have an interview with him. I wasn't going to ask him during the interview, so yeah. I asked him a little silly question about that he had done a movie. With his a sister. A hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. You said to him. Because it was in have, the 90s. You have done a movie a hundred years ago. And, the, and he's like, I have shirts older <laughs> than him. Um, so he had done a movie with his sister, Charlie Lee, who is now, um, plays the sister on uh, Supergirl, the TV series. She's, right. uh, she's been on a Not Another Teen movie. Uh, so she's been around for a while. And they had a movie together where they played boyfriend and girlfriend. So I was like, I'm just curious. Come true. What is it like having a movie? With, yes, yes, doing a movie with your sister as your girlfriend. That's wrong. Man. And, and that's, I think that's like a stern bit. That's just wrong. So I was just like, I was. It's, it was. It's been bothering me for years. So he said, and he was like, and, and you quote, repeat the question you just asked yourself, and you have the answer to that question. And I, I just yeah. <laughs> and I just went, oh, <laughs> I just turned around. But it's just one of those things where it's like. Usually I take a picture of Mark taking, asking questions to the talent. And it was just, I just cringed. I went, oh. But I legitimately <laughs> wanted to know. Yeah, it's a good question. I'd so, want to know the same thing. So, um, But later on. He did answer we, it yeah, off the record. Then, so yeah. he did say. And were they romantic together? I never saw the movie. movie. That's the whole thing. I never got oh. to see the movie. So I was, I was curious, like, what could this movie be? Yeah, like, like, like were so, they just holding hands? Like, what were they making out? Like, you know. Just, if it's a Hallmark movie, it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was you know? not a Hallmark movie. If it's like. A 3 but it's a a.m. Showtime action, movie. That's a lot of problems. When later on, when he talked about it, he was very funny about the whole situation. Yes, and and and, 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 and he said, this. "Do not watch this movie." He's like, it was not worth your time. Yeah, really. Do not watch this movie. So of course now, now we have to watch. The I want to see it's more. Be seen. Yeah. I want to see this more now. So right. it was. Uh, I think it was called Karate School or something like that. All right, All right. sounds so, horrible. Wanna, sounds great. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> But um, so yeah, it was it was a great we, time. We with had that. A, we had a great time. I have to say, um, it was it was a fabulous. So time. shout out to uh, Jay, Sal, and Steve yeah. for for doing a bang up convention. They're going to have one next year. They already uh, talked about it, and it's going to be there for a couple. I of hope years. they have it in the same place. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So fingers crossed on that. But I do want to play uh, two interviews. We have one with the other two Power Rangers. It was the um, Silver Ranger and the uh, Black Space Ranger from Power Rangers in Space. So let's play the first one right now. Sure. This is Mark Tarzo that came from the radio. We are here live on tape with none other than Carlos, who is played by Roger Valesco. Now the question is, does Carlos have a last name? Carlos is a Vallarte, yes. Carlos Vallarte, Vallarte what's his name? Yeah, that's his last name. Mm -hmm. So you are most famous for being in Power Rangers in Space. Um, but you were in Turbo, right? Correct. So, when you got the role, did you know you were going to replace another nice actor, guy. or did you know? I mean, did you have any idea? Which you had so much trouble. At all? So, what was? How did the process I did, come? I had no very idea, nice honestly. Guy. Very nice. Guy. I knew that they were casting for Rangers, and they were into well, all the major cities. They were in New they York, still hear us Chicago, Facebook Live LA, the scene, Texas. From what I understand, it was like fifty thousand people were auditioning for this role. I did a little research. And they kept oh, bringing me back. They kept bringing me back. On. I remember oh, I auditioned like yeah, seven different that. times. By the seventh time, I was like, "Okay, guys." So I was doing are research. Are you going to hire me or what? On, on, on like, this what afterwards. Afterwards, so I had and no I saw idea that, that um, Christopher does. Was, that is the way is, he does interviews. Like there was and um, I had this no thing called the hashtag show. It's a huge shoes by Johnny Bosch. More. So yeah, it was all a surprise to me. We basically learned it as we went. They didn't tell us a lot, but. Yeah, I had but no idea nice I was going to replace, you know, stuff about the Green Ranger, you know, and then later on take off into space. Yeah, we didn't on. know that. 
and it was um, a surprise. So how much Seeing preparation the, did you and get? I, and like, I never was made it, the like, connection. The week before, like, oh, by the Justin way, you're, you're in charge Brad Pitt. now. Or I never made that connection. Did you, you know a couple of weeks, months? Like, how much preparation? Like how much scripts? Because I know at the time, at least uh, well, according I, to other Power Ranger I, actors, I used to watch the show, but I never made the connection was. of him looking like Brad. Pitt. So how did that come out in play? It was very crazy. It was literally never, like here's three scripts. I never We're going to start shooting in a couple of weeks. We started doing a lot of martial arts, a yeah. lot of training, working with so, my acting coach, and, and my dialect coach. I know it's Byron, but I still, you know, other, my, I invested research, into that because I wanted to do good. People you know? say that all the time. I, that's him. the way I operate. Everything that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it a thousand percent. I'm going to give it my time, all. Uh, um, and so yeah, there was together, a lot of preparation. He said on his Here's the script. Let's go. And we used to work 16-hour days. We were on set like literally all day, and we would knock out three episodes in like a week and a half. And then we just dumped the other three. So we literally Welcome learned back, the, <laughs> as we went, the storyline. So as we shot were you a Power and we got fan? the scripts, we were you, learning you the storyline. I, mean, I think it's that playing the producers on the, were also okay. on the Facebook kind of Live, but this it, is, you know? is behind cool. the scenes. Uh, as the characters you were not a Power Ranger fan. No, she looks Did like a well-adjusted no, individual. I always <laughs> thought that I felt like I was born an 80-year-old woman. So I liked R-rated movies when I was like three, and I watched vampire movies, and I thought I was cool for cartoons. I was the kid that was telling everyone Santa doesn't exist. So now I definitely don't watch Power Rangers. Oh, you're a a weird one. It's yeah. a horrible thing yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, no Santa. So then they don't have false expectations. I was trying to help them, so they don't have a dramatic downfall. If you would have told me that Power Rangers in space <laughs> and that us, we were wow. going to save the yeah. series. It's good to I base one's life on then. truth. I'm Seriously. big on that one. Uh, so no Easter Bunny, no Santa Claus. Oh, no. I, I think I might have believed in the uh, tooth fairies, that, maybe for slightly. Really? I think I just like the money because I'm technically Jewish. My dad's a dentist, so I did like the money part of the tooth fairy. The views and it's going to be a weird interview. Just on that one. God. We're just gonna throw that out there. Right? The views and opinions of the guests. Do not yeah, like yeah. Like yeah. Those. I, I heard so that. I, I, I need a mental star on that one. I was happy about that little announcement. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically your CYA. Uh, do you have plans to come when back? When in doubt, CYA. Yeah. Year anniversary. Do you have any plans to come back at all to the series? Bring also, the just cover you know your bases in RGB. I got invited too. to the what is it, twentieth? Roy G. Yeah, I got invited to come out and. Uh, as when I still don't get it. I still don't get it. So C Y A, right? We know what oh, that means. Yes. Yeah. But there's also like C Y surround. Oh, the color, the color yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, R G B, red, black, blue. Gotcha. One, four, three, O M G. Elemental P. Yeah. Little Nintendo. Part you know. That's why you're definition man, because you had the definition. Let's do it. Let's rock it. Same. So the biggest question He even is, said, let's rock it. That was his catchphrase on the show. I was very happy screen. at that time. Mm -hmm. He said I'm, the thing. I'm sure you he are. said the thing. All this time. Power <laughs> Rangers is, like, is oh, just the minuto you know, of television. Changed my mind. You know what's something? As a leader, I have um, come to realize uh, that uh, as much of a Power Ranger fan I am, I am not in the upper echelon of fandom of anything. It's weird. I thought I was a pretty big fan. I'm not a big fan at all. Martial arts, so not a big fan of these, academics, of these but things. always that make you feel better about yourself and helping others grow. I don't know. As some <laughs> helped us grow. Thought, it should. I thought I was in that Power Ranger awesome. fan until um, Mark started talking to me about some, and he yeah. started spewing okay, these facts what you're doing and that what I don't know where they came you. from. Absolutely. I, uh, you know, I thought I wasn't a Power Ranger fan, and I was right. You know, landing on TV and getting involved in that, and I just diversified I don't think that's how that hashtag works. Real estate business for like 15 years. No, that's that's pretty much true because I never watched. The power, my but I had these the facts spewing out of me, and I don't know where they, where they were from. The Wolf on Wall I think uh, you were That's inundated. That's the gentleman that launched my real estate yeah. career in 2001. He dragged you into uh, the family. I'll, 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 I'll tell you where the. I'll tell you where it came from. It came from that trouble. floating were, head thing. There was a writer's. Uh, 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 MK Ultra Power Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. Started yeah. to get involved in the businesses. Got involved in real estate. 15 years went by. We killed it. Uh, now I'm Don't go too utilities. far. You're gonna pull your uh, cord out. Uh, we're broken up utilities on a global <laughs> scale, so I have a business Looks where like we operate father. on a global scale. 27 countries, <laughs> five continents. So we help people save money and business oh, owners save money on their utilities, gas, I'm not and sure. no. credit card processing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and help people nonsensical. make an extra stream so. of income that could potentially You've probably become learned that by now. your <laughs> primary stream of income. Right also, in. through that process, um, I'm working on a couple of TV shows. So we'll be start, I'll be starting on uh, Sangre Negra, which is on Amazon. I, uh, we start shooting this year, uh, so I'm going to have a leading role in that. Uh, Eric Estrada, 
and Mr. Roberts, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Eric Roberts? Well, yes, he's involved as Alan, well. It is, and then I'm going to be doing a reality TV show, show with uh, show, Myrna Velasco, a she's a huge personality um, on over. TV, and <laughs> also a talk a show a that I'm going to be co-hosting. So I got some <laughs> stuff that we're working on this right now. This going to be working with the great Eric Estrada. Yeah. But we start shooting this year for sure. We've been talking about it I don't know who that's a break for. So I'm excited to stay tuned. We'll be on TV. I think it's a break for Eric Estrada. On social media. The guy was really nice. I'm pretty sure it's a break for Eric. Roger yeah. Velasco on IG, official Roger Velasco on Facebook, and uh, yeah, those are the two channels that you can follow me uh, mainly. So Facebook, official Roger Velasco on Instagram as well, official Roger Velasco. Check me out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this uh, time. And uh, Mark, uh, back to you in the studio. Thanks, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Wow. He, he was throwing it back to me. but uh, Where's the kiss? I was yeah. listening for a kiss. Oh, the kiss was with a different Power Ranger at a different time. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that was totally, much later. It went totally undocumented. Unexpected. It was much later in the day, which was funny because Charlie walks See? up and he goes, uh, he just kissed me. I was like, oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I hoped you brushed. Whatever you did, it must be working because I am loved now. <laughs> Yeah, now people are kissing you on <laughs> yeah, the lips. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, my, my outward glow, I did guess. Did you do a thing to him? We did mm -hmm. a nutrition session, health, did, yeah, yeah. a health makeover session. <laughs> Which we will talk about later. Did now, you do the Reiki? Random no. guys are just making out you. <laughs> hey, He's not random. He wasn't random. <laughs> It's a power so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I pick my, you know, I, I pick my people. Well, that I'm was one of the goals of our session. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> to get yes. Power Rangers to make out with you. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Well, now that you, you, you're working your way up to the female Power Rangers now. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You got Watch the out, Amy oh, Joe. Oh, you're straight. I, you got, I thought, you got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, got the, you got the hug she, from uh, Amy Joe. I never got the hug. Charlie's oh, yeah. coming well, for you, Amy Joe. Me, me and Amy are, are best friends. Yes. Does she know that? <laughs> yeah, well, we were on, when I saw her, we immediately knew who we were, and we ran, in, ran to each other in the middle, middle of Tribeca. And I was didn't hugging, get a hug. And he's like, I'm the Power Ranger both, fan. Both in Brooklyn. So maybe yeah, that's, maybe, maybe. maybe that's Brooklyn the thing. Brooklyn. Brooklyn loves you, and so does all the Power yes, Rangers in yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, I guess. I so know. we have the second um, interview with Justin Nimmo, who apparently looks like Brad Pitt, which I oh. did not notice. I oh, didn't. Well, I was you. watching the series. I didn't notice, but Charlie. As soon as Charlie mentioned it, I was like, "Holy right. crap! He does look like Brad Pitt." And apparently, that's the thing. Justin Nimmo, J U S T I N N I M M O. He does look like him. Um, let's play the interview right now. Sure. This is Mark Charles with the Kane Fender Radio. I'm here live eh. on tape at the Powell Yeah, but like, I never thought it at all. But insane. apparently, it's a thing that uh, he Justin looks. Justin Nimmo. <laughs> yes. So, Justin. Um, a lot like I was Brad at the Power Ranger panel yesterday, and you were talking about how you got it's the role there. for the part. Yeah. And you didn't know anything too much about it, but you had to do research a to bit. learn about what Power Rangers was. Right. Now, 20-something so, um, years later, do you know what He Power was talking Rangers about how uh, you he tried out for a yeah. movie yeah. where he was yeah, going to play his I've, son. I've, uh, Brad Pitt's son? Power yeah, because he looks enough like him. And he says they're like from Oklahoma. They're both from Oklahoma. And he was like, the only problem was they wanted like a young, young kid, so that's why he didn't get the role. My roommate at the and he time, said that um, he never actually got to meet Brad Pitt, but he, he, was he passed each other. Like, it was one of those things where he was right there in the same place, like, same time. Like, like so how I met Ryan Reynolds. So not no, almost, because they never they never good. visually they, they saw they each passed, other. Literally passed each other when he went into the office. Yeah, the secretary says, "What are you doing back?" Was like, "Did you just change your shirt?" Because she actually thought it was Brad Pitt. So I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." Yeah. It's not yeah, a bad looking guy. Yeah, if you go on. I wouldn't mind looking like him. If you go on. Why would you want to look like Brad Pitt? I mean, he's hot. So I'll take it. Take what I can get. Yeah, but then. <laughs> my boyfriend says if I was a guy, I would look like him. So I like that. I don't know. He's like, you have some more face structure. Okay. And body. Like him, there's, like so many, <laughs> there's so many questions right now. So does that mean your boyfriend. Thank God we're going to do an interview. <laughs> wants to travel. No. Okay. No. He's like the least, yeah, the most some like straight, a manly man dude like that, I've ever Sorry. met, actually. But for him to want you to look like Brad Pitt. No, no, he doesn't want me. He said if, if you were a guy, you would look know, like him. I didn't know that there was okay. comic yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you having confusing feelings now, Mark? There's so many questions. This has happened many a times where there's so many questions that happen. They all rush up to the door and they all get stuck and nothing comes out. Well, we talk a lot about face shapes because I have a face shape theory that certain couples look alike because if you dissect their eyebrows, their eyes, their nose, their lips, 
you'll often find, and I have about 20 couples, and I have screenshots of their faces that look similarly. So we talk a lot about face shape, so that's probably how this came up. How, how long were the couples together? There's people getting married, and it's not the skin color, but it's like the eye shape. Like some people's eye shapes go down, nose go down or up. I mean, I have heard that as longer, the longer people are together, the more they start well, to look yeah. like each other. Well, no, this is like actual structure shape. My dad and his girlfriend are like this. Uh, yeah. Face shape, I usually pick guys similar draw lines as, my, as me. On that, on that whole theory and stuff, they actually did a circle line of Yoko and John Lennon. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that they morphed into each other around the circle they because morphed. they their features were were looking the same huh interesting oh, i'll have to see this yeah it supports my face shape theory it's, yeah it's, 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 it was great so i like i just like the whole part of of acting whether it's this role or that role and i and i'm not against being stereotyped i mean i well, it's a ranger, always a ranger is what they say. Yeah, he said the thing. So he said the thing. Which, they both so said the thing. A, he just equated being a Power Ranger with being a Marine, for Christ's sake. No, it's the same thing. The, the Not <laughs> even close. <laughs> well, they defend the outer. Well, a Power Marine. <laughs> <laughs> marine <laughs> Ranger. Yes. <laughs> they have, there has not yet Power been a Marine, marine Ranger, ranger uh, yet. Maybe Aquamarine. Yeah, my money is on one good Marine versus Power every Power Ranger. ranger. Yes, you know it's called reality. <laughs> exactly. When, whenever, well, I mean, some of them are actual martial artists, but it's whenever you say this versus that, um, the best answer Batman. is whoever is writing. Batman. Batman. It's whoever is writing the uh, Batman. The the the, the meetup. So whenever you say, oh, who would win in this fight? Whoever the writer is. Batman. I'm Batman. Hmm. So if you're a good enough writer, you can make it so that Batman would win in a situation. Where he would not normally win. This is the most. He's Batman. He always wins. This is the most boring thing you're saying. <laughs> I, I had this conversation once with Kevin Smith. First of all, I just like to say I can throw that out there that I said I had this guy. This conversation. Yeah, you Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith uh, Joe Quesada, uh, uh, Tom McFarlane. What's that? What you say? I was gonna say just uh, I have one right there. Tom McFarlane. <laughs> Boom. Tom McFarlane, Kevin Smith, Joe Quesada. I've talked to some guys. So I got to ask him once, like he had Spider-Man versus Daredevil fight to a draw. Yeah. And I was like. Twitter, what were you thinking? Instagram, and he goes like, why? Who do you think should win? And it wasn't even like he was doing a Daredevil book. He was doing a Spider-Man book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they were fighting to a draw. He's like, why? What do you I'm like, because it's Spider-Man. He has the proportional strength and speed of a spider and agility. What can... And I stole this line from my friend. I said, what can uh, Daredevil do? A backflip. What, what's the point? <laughs> a blind backflip. A blind backflip. Those are harder to do. And he just looked at He didn't like that. He was just like, he's like, who do you think should win? I'm like, Spider-Man should have won. He's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> It's all about the writer. Not, he did not want to hear it. <laughs> it's all about the writer. He's and then I asked him if he's mad back. because he didn't think of it. That's yeah. why. A writer gets mad when someone else thinks of something that he should have thought. Yeah. That's what it is. And then I asked him if Affleck could still play the shark in Jaws. I didn't realize at the time they weren't talking. Oof. So he was like, mm. <laughs> he's like, yeah, no, he's, he's, he could. He's still great. He's a great actor. Good job <laughs> poking the bear. Oh, yeah. I poked that bear. That this is before, like, he lost all that weight, so he was a big bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Bonnie Rebel, he's some actor. This doesn't really bode well for how about what we one. thought yeah. these interviews are, that Tennessee. we're talking over them, we're not engaged. Well, yeah. this, well this, is, this is why it's behind the scenes. I mean, I was there. Charlie was there. You can hear it when you actually, when it airs, the actual interview. True. Yes. Which is, which is the whole point, but you can't hear the behind the scenes stuff when the show airs. That's true. It makes it special. That's right. Special. Just think what. I mean, when we aired that Atomic Fallen interview, yeah, we were just talking the whole time during the interview behind the scenes. Oh, wait. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mark, Ooh. from the past. We are back with the interviews. Good job, me. I really appreciate <laughs> me doing my job. I love when a plan falls together. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't you just like Wait literally up. pat yourself on the back like one of those hack yeah. wrestlers back in the 90s? No, you, you got to understand. He was with his Power Rangers. So. I was with my Power Rangers. It wasn't was in his moment. Out, and, and they were actually better interviews than I thought they were going to be. Well, they were. They were because a lot of times when, when I see people at conventions and I go, oh, it would be nice to talk to them. But I don't want to interview them because I don't have enough stuff in my head mm. as to what to ask them about. But it would be really cool to meet them. So you figure two or three right. questions, and, and, you're, and you, know, you play it safe. You get a couple questions. But then when you talk to them, 
they give really good interviews, really interesting stuff. So it's like, wow, that's kind of cool. Wow, that's kind of interesting. And then we go a little farther. So it's one of those things where the guy who was there, um, the guy who plays uh, Phineas on Phineas and Ferb was also um, the guy from Everybody Hates Chris, his best friend, was there. Mm. Mm. But I... I would like to meet him, but I didn't have anything, like, I didn't have tons of questions for him, so I didn't interview him, but mm-hmm. it was just, I wanted to say hi. Yeah. I can always ask people what they're eating or what they ate to prepare for that role. That's always my go-to. What do you eat? Are you on a special diet? And that's you know, Really? Yeah, that's my go-to. And that's a good what question. I would never right. come up with that question. Well done. Yeah, because they're wearing, they're wearing a skin-tight <clears throat> suit, some of them, or painted on body suits, so what are you what are you doing? Like, I saw Jamie Foxx at my gym before yeah. when he was preparing for, was it Spider-Man? What, what was he? And he was, yeah, yeah. He he was in a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I bumped into Spider-Man. him, and I saw his training, and we talked and I, i'm always interested you know i'm a trainer so there you go. i always want to know people are eating so that there you go that's, i never have a question all right all what right. if he was like mcdonald's e-i-e-i-o well, e-i-o. would you be like what <clears throat> six cigarettes well, a boss yeah. water and i yell at a folks. tomato for great, five minutes great uh <laughs> great con and uh if people want to go to our facebook page and our albums yeah, I have pictures all the, some of the pictures are the, up the other ones all, i haven't put up yet all my pictures yes, are up were you mox pictures were you able to get any interviews with time mock um, oh, we man. had interviewed him before, so I didn't. We interviewed him before. Mark says, Twice, I actually. said, You want to interview with him? I was like, We already got him. And he goes, We already got him. I'm like, Could, could you imagine the pompous. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we got so, him already. So, anyway, oh. I just took a picture of him, and he was really fine. He was really in a good mood. That would have been a great interview for Oh, so time. he might not have made you go through his publicity people then. No, yeah, right. right yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, we're ready for our break. So we're Are we really, Mark? Yeah. We'll be right. right back. I'm good. I'm tired. Radio. Yeah, me too. <laughs> And you're listening to Did he ever get back to you? Oh, Kreskin? Hi, you've heard my yeah, voice. Yeah, Kreskin, I'm in touch with show. all the time. I now mean, I could call his office. I, I was the last one who called his product, office and said, you can record have him get back here. to me. You know, but he never got back to you. Never got back to okay. me. So when I said, so you really in did he get back to you? And you're like, yeah, I did all this stuff, but he never got back to me. The answer is, he never got back to me. Again, Mom. Were you my school teacher now? And I'm not liking you today. Any kind of cool conversation <laughs> about hey, creators, teacher, about entertainment, about leave all those that kids alone. You go to, mm-hmm. It came from the radio. You're listening to the right spot. Hey ah. guys, I'm Christy, and I'm here to make the coolest custom cake. I forgot to get the drops. I also do cake pops, yeah. cupcakes. You always forget drops. So I, I for the remember weekend, at the last minute. Preparing for your big day. <laughs> Maybe there's nothing coming up, but your sweet tooth may have just given your promise. Oh, yeah, we also had a, well, he had a beer. Give me a call at 631. With, uh, with <gasps> the Power Rangers, he was like, you want a beer? We're like, hanging back. Custom it was like vodka. There was vodka in there. Yeah, no, I didn't have the vodka. I had That's one K-R-I-S-T-Y. beer with them. S-T-Y. Because Thanks. I was thirsty. <laughs> Come to my hand. I, Lionel, command it. Hi, everybody. This is Larry Kenny. This was a Power Ranger convention? It was, it was it came from the Christopher radio. came in from the culture. Back to our show. And on. welcome back to Came from the Radio, the show of David Gavacon. The show is Mark Torres speaking along with our senior correspondent, Charlie Saladino. Hey. Dominic Definition Man from Pronto Comics. Hello, everybody. Toronto, and Jen Elise Feldy. Thank you for having me. So, Jen. So. Jen, it's all you, Jen. It's all me, so I'm sure I just lead the what, show. All right, everyone, what just did turn you, and what stare did you at eat her. to prepare for your interview? That's a good point. That's a good question. Yeah, we were talking oh, before the show of what you ask someone. We have nothing to ask, and you always ask them what to eat. All right, I got a green juice with some pineapple and kale and chia seed. I was just going to say, is there kale? Nice. I have kale a today? drink from Whole Foods, which I haven't gotten juices in months, but I've been feeling under the weather for the last two weeks, so I got a juice, and now I feel <clears throat> really, really vital today. So you got me on the first day back after like two or three weeks of being in pain yeah. so let's cover all the bases um, and coffee <laughs> and coffee and a salad and a salad that's yeah. good yeah coffee and salad really together yeah, well, you know yeah i pour oh, the coffee shit. over the salad and make a soup it's a dressing mm. yeah. <laughs> coffee vinaigrette mm. <laughs> when love you that. Inconceivable. <laughs> when, <laughs> when young jen started out mm. what was your goal to be for future gen, which you are present gen now. Ooh, in life? Yeah. And when I was younger? You know, um, most of my Saturday nights and a lot of my free time, I I guess I was a director, writer, script writer, and I shot parody commercial videos, and I do parody sketch comedy now, and I do professional commercial and, movie, and acting now. So it's basically doing the same thing I did when I was little, growing up, and I was obsessed with health, and I made my own recipes and guidebooks. So I guess I'm doing the same thing professionally, what I used to do when I was... 7, 10, 12, 14. 
Oh, wow. I mean, now you have the real equipment and not imaginary equipment. But I there. did have a clueless phone which, which morphed your voice, and I haven't yeah. pranked anyone in a while, so I've been slacking on my pranking. So were you upset when the, what was it, um, who are those guys that did the prank calls? Back Jerky Boys? Yes, oh, Jerky yeah. Boys, thank you. Were you upset? Like, hey, that, that was buddy, my idea. idea. No, I like to see everyone pranking. I love to see parody. The more parody, the better. And every time I see someone doing a satire, it makes me really happy. All right, so now I have to ask you about the, the was it the Four Wives? Oh, you saw that. Yeah, the SWAT team yes, came to that shoot. Yes, I did shoot. my research. Holy, you did your research, damn. My mom actually cried. Uh, it was her birthday, and I took her to the city thinking I was doing a fun shoot with Cream Jovian and Prince Z and all these other people, and I was praying, playing a wife, one of the four wives, to a prince. It was Prince Z. And we walked through Times Square in New York City and made a huge commotion, and people really thought this guy had four wives. And then there was a fight, which I didn't know there was going to be a fight with Daniel Jean. Huge fight in Times Square at the Red Steps. And the SWAT team came, and I just, I just felt exit left. I just <laughs> felt get out of here. And as soon as I exited left, I saw all these cop cars, and there was I don't know thirteen to twenty five cop cars in the streets, and I had to change out of this bridal gown in the middle of the street. And my mom was like convulsing and freaking out and Mortified. so scared. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I was trying to calm her down. So that was an interesting <laughs> shoot. No one got in trouble. And uh, that was my, what, third time getting married or fourth <laughs> on camera? <laughs> All right, so long as so, on camera. Is, so now you're professionally, that's, that's one of your, your, your things, getting married is one of the lists. Yeah, yeah. I had two, I've had a husband on Friday for a Wuhan vi flu virus PSA, and I had a boyfriend on Sunday who may or may not be straight. And then I had a real boyfriend come over Sunday night, so I'm, you know, I'm just nice. raking it in lately. Because <laughs> you're... Does your real boyfriend now is intimidated because, like, oh, she's getting married all the time. I've got to know. worry about this. No, I don't think he cares. He actually met me doing a parody. He shot a parody of mine. That's how we met, and I insulted him. So I, I guess that worked for him. And then he knew. I, I mean, the first day we met, within the first two hours of meeting, I was going up to older men, overweight, underweight, and saying, oh, are you a model? <laughs> what would you like to be? Would you is, like to be on our show? This is how we met. Is that how you met Charlie? <laughs> No, <laughs> no. Uh, no, we were in a movie together. What yeah. was the movie? And then we met. Talking to the mic, Charlie. We met at an after party, uh, for this movie. At, uh, uh, but the movie was Menagerie. <laughs> you say it like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we were Sarah we, Martin's the, film, the, 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 Menagerie. Right. We were um, the the best part of the movie was I met Jen. So, not not the not the <laughs> script. Thank you. Well, or it, not was, the... it was a good movie. <laughs> I'm just saying that the best the, part, the, man. You know, as the planets align and you meet people you're supposed to meet. No, I'm glad we met. No. Yeah. Right. yeah. You're, you're a special person. He, yes. he really is. He's so uplifting, great energy. That's why I Very encouraging. Yeah. yeah. And I like Jen because uh, she is a beautiful lady, but she she was just so much fun. Like you took a picture of her and like the other beautiful ladies would be like the Vogue thing. And Jen had the best face. They'd strike a pose? Yeah. Exactly. And Jen would like cross her eyes and, you know, just it was it was it was fun. And that's how I knew she was. She was uh, a special young lady there. Special is a word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Improvisational skills. Um, as we've been talking through the show, you're quick. Thank you. You're I'm very, very down. I'm very low right now. It's winter. I'm a hibernating bear. So I'm glad you thank you. So so you're you're usually more quick than you Let's are right now. Let's do this again in July. I'm on fire. I'm like manic in July. Yeah. So is there it. any type of preparation you do for improv? Is always, I know yeah. it's the yes and, but like, is it come naturally or is there something that you have to train to be improvisational? Like all the time, your mind's always thinking. Um, it does help when you're when you're off camera, off stage, just you know, with, with conversating with different people having a back and forth that prepares like even just talking to my boy from my kitchen like i'll kind of mess with him and it you know he enjoys the comedy and that helps or just talking to you guys so all the time helps but also coordination exercise help i didn't work out today so i feel rusty i feel like getting my words out is but coordination exercise has really helped because it creates new neural pathways in the brain helps to connect your thoughts helps your brain to be faster um, if you never drink coffee, don't start because then you have to rely on it. And now I rely on it. So now I need coffee. So if you drink coffee, do coffee, black tea, green juices actually can help stimulate and amplify the effects of stimulants. And, mm. and it also can, gives me mental clarity. A lot of people. So a green juice nice. that helps being hydrated. That's why I ran to the bathroom what, three times since I got here. <laughs> I, I drink a lot of water when I, when I'm talking to people. So you drank the toilet water. Is that why you ran to the yeah. bathroom three times? Yeah. I, I, I wanted it's to get, the best. get a little fixed, you know, it's the best, you know, yeah. Mm. 
I, I, uh, see, I, I can be nothing. quick too. I can, I can see it and boom. Now you're around. back. You need to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Right, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Treat it like Donna and simmer down now. Simmer down. Simmer down now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a professional comedian, aspiring comedian, stand-up comedian? What kind of what kind of comedy? I'm not the you? next anybody. I'm just the first generally Feldman baby. Um, I actually don't. I, I the last interview, the second to last that came out, it says, "Can women be comedians or can f- females be comedians?" I don't call myself a comedian because I feel like if someone's a, a comedian, they should do stand up, and I right. like sketch. So I, I have done what six or seven movies, and I I do comedic roles. So I'm a comedic actor, and I do sketch comedy, and they've gotten a lot of views. But I feel like when I call someone a comedian, they have to actually be standing up and holding the mic, and that's just my standard. So I wouldn't call myself it. But hey, if other people want to call me it, sure, okay. So do you find yourself looking to those to be like, that's something I want to try, something I I think it's a good idea, or I'm just going to stay in my wide world of comfort zone you have? You know what? I like having someone to banter with. So um, there's a guy, Tony, who's very talented. Maybe you'll listen to this. Yeah, and he's he does parody work too. I like... I like, you know, that you're here. I appreciate the fact that you're here and I don't need all the attention and I like bantering with someone even though I'm an only child. I don't need all the attention and I like I just like to have someone to to bounce banter off with of. and bounce. Yeah, it's more interesting to me. I don't really I do like a lot of stand up and I listen to it, but I I just it's more fun for me to have a sidekick or or a main person. I'm the sidekick. <laughs> so you need the straight man. Can you play the straight man? Yeah, yeah, I, and actually in the Menagerie movie, I'm, I'm I'm actually silly. I'm a reporter, but I am a sillyish yeah. reporter. But um, I, yeah, I like making fun of people, kind of like um, like Borat's old stuff. Yeah, parody interviews. So I I like having someone there to play around with. It's just more fun. Like laughing by myself is kind of lonely. I don't know. It's slightly creepy too. S- Self deprecating yeah. can only go so yeah. far. Yeah. Really. Yeah, monologues. I don't know. I like someone to interject, and interrupt me, and say something or make fun of me. You know, I can take it too. Stop it! Yeah, thank you. See, <laughs> see, that felt good. See, this is why I'm in a relationship because I know how to listen. <laughs> wow, well, communication is ninety nine point nine percent of it. Really, I thought it was sex, but okay. One yeah. percent. That helps. One percent sex. One <laughs> percent. I don't. I don't. I think, point, I think it's more than one percent. This is how you, you know these two guys something. have not been in a relationship. You got to realize something. Time. Well, yeah, guys, a long time. You're all young. I, I, I am because I don't feel it. Yeah. Well, well, your ex-wife is your best friend. Yes. <laughs> really? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. In so fact, I'm 29 so with maybe back because pain. Or it, was, it was just the 1%. Ah. You should have upped it to 2 or 3. <laughs> that means the knee pain's coming went. too. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> that's, is that what happened? Wow, he's on fire today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good week. <laughs> good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Recently I saw on Facebook, Trump one day you're young and single, the next day this looks attractive. It's an organizational system above your kitchen well, sink. Yeah. I actually, actually looked, yeah. I looked at that, it's, I think, like a couple years ago, and I went, a, oh, damn, that'd It's be a really funny cool thing. It's pretty cool. I need that. <laughs> as you get on in the years, and you've had what everybody thinks is important now, you realize that that's maybe not the important thing. So What's not? One sex, percent. Sex is not the important thing? Huh? Uh, that's pretty important, important to me, Charlie. <laughs> Organizational organization in the kitchen is not important. Is that what you're saying? That's also important to me. I don't know. It's, it's all I mean, important I love cooking, and it's all not important. I think that's me. what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what's more important to me <laughs> than mean, having sex? Whatever, being able to have whatever sex. You can being drive, able to. That's being true. To. Whatever you can drive of that. <laughs> yeah, being able to. Also don't take having, that for granted. Also being able to use the bathroom uncovered completely. Like physically not <laughs> having any issues there. Well, it depends. Things that I hide. It depends. Depends. Yeah. Depends. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Dominic is an only child. You're an only child. Yeah. I have brothers and sisters, Charlie. Brothers and sisters. Yes. Uh, Zambo, brothers and sisters. Two younger child. brothers. Okay. So as the people with the only child. <clears throat> only I swear child. to God, if you ask us, do we miss having siblings? The answer is there is no frame of reference. No. My, my <laughs> question is, did you guys, <laughs> did you guys have, have um, imaginary friends to make up for that banter? Or is it just all you? It's all about you. It's all me all the time. <laughs> No. All kids basically had an imaginary friend at one point. I never had an no, imaginary friend. No, never. Never yeah. had an imaginary mm. friend. I stand corrected. <laughs> no, I socialized. Um, yeah. I find in terms of being an only child, you spend more of your time with adults, so you tend to mm-hmm. be a little bit more like, I, Yeah, mature. definitely. Ah. Yeah. I, I'm more I comfortable around older faster. people. Yeah. 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 If you someone's know? like 20 years older than me, I'm more, much more comfortable around the people Actually, my age. Like yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Not I found, interested. Yeah. I, I always ended up hanging out with people that were like, 
I mean, I had friends my age, but I would always also have friends older than me. Mm -hmm, me too. Well, that's yeah. uh, so even though my brothers way older. That my brother yeah. and my sister were older than me, and I I had that reference too. Yeah, so that yeah that's why I go to the nursing home to get my friends nowadays. It's just more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. and they can't leave. That's <laughs> right. Ooh. That's true. Too. You always know where they're, they're going to be. There. Can't walk away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Try me. <laughs> So since you said you're always into the, the health end of things, is that decided um, your holistic approach now was was that was the foundation or did you decide later on like, you know what, that was some good stuff I did back then. I mean, let me go back and investigate it. You know, there's a myriad reasons why health is so important to me. My grandparents were like Prevention Magazine before Prevention Magazine existed and they would always spout health and I was told at a young age I showed up to dinner at supposedly at two and said, what's the protein? So that's just how I grew up. But mm. I had a lot of different health ailments in my 35 years even I was too tired to even barely get to school my junior and senior year in high school and I feel like I figured it out um, when I became a trainer in 2009 ish I started figuring things out more and more because I was so tired I could barely get out of bed and I've had uh, probably 10 or so years like this and it'll happen yeah. if I follow a diet that's considered healthy so I did so much research and experimentation to figure out how not to be so tired I had about three years on and off where I couldn't walk the last two weeks, I had a different type of back pain. So each little ailment made me figure out what the hell to do. And that's a big reason also now that I'm acting. Do you have like an autoimmune disease? No, no. And actually, there's new research that shows that the autoimmune disease might not even be that. It might be Epstein-Barr or it might be viruses we're carrying. So there's actually an article that's been flowing around this week that's saying mm. that we might have different viruses which I, I, I've i been playing around with that idea for years. Well, Tim Ferriss is interesting. I'm just very sensitive to things that don't yeah. belong in the body. You know, alcohol, sugar, and my body just freaks out. Yeah. Tim Ferriss had said, like, he'd contracted Lyme disease, and mm. he finds that being on a keto diet keeps the symptoms at bay. Mm -hmm. And Lyme disease is a virus. Right. So it's confusing that the supposed treatment of Lyme disease is antibiotics. Yeah, I and know. I know. I thought that about that, sense. too. Why would you take antibiotics for a virus because virus is right. in your system? Yeah, so I think that a lot of people should be mindful that even a lot of tests, supposedly there's five times of her five types of herpes, supposedly, but they only test for one and two generally. I only have about so, three of them though. I don't. Bravo. I don't. I swear, I honey, I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I, no. I think a lot of people are probably walking around it's with viruses the that they don't even line. know about that might be triggering suppressed immune system or strange mm. reactions to different things in life. Now, do you subscribe to something like, um, first of all, have you ever heard of Michaela Peterson? No. So she's the daughter of the renowned psychologist Jordan Peterson. Oh, I love him. She, she's big on like a strictly carnivore diet. Yeah, okay, I know about this. So like, what do you think about that? It I, works for her. I'm not recommending it to any client anytime soon. Okay. I think it's interesting. I think it's a great experiment if someone wants to do it on, to, on themselves. <laughs> Which I'll they follow. have. Well, but if you're going to experiment gonna... on anything, you should experiment yeah, on yourself. Yeah, and I've almost No, you experiment times. on others. <laughs> yeah, like experiment on others. <laughs> yeah. Vicarious uh, learning is the cheapest form yeah. of learning. You learn from others' mistakes and don't yeah. tell well, yourself. Well, that guy's dead. There you go. Why, Why do you think super size me was such a If we learned anything from Bruce Banner, do not experiment on yourself. Yes. But if every once in a while, we got to bring it back to comics. If you are going to have a meat <laughs> heavy Spurlock. diet, it is the time. It's winter, so according to Chinese medicine Ayurveda, this is the right. season to do more meats. But all meat, I don't know, man. It Strictly all... meats, yeah. It's a, meat, salt, and that's apparently what they. Yeah, eat and I half. slow down if I have too much meat. Yeah, like to the point where much. I really can't get out of bed. Kind of like what you were saying before. It, it's it's, it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult to move. Like the green juices point. have brought me back to life. Oh, I took yeah. months right. off from drinking these months. Yeah, yeah. And I feel completely different after three that's days awesome. of them. So mm. that's awesome. You know, people say similar things. I don't know. I'm not going to re recommend all meat on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know giant steaks. Yeah, <laughs> a big old twelve well, pound. But he house. also yeah. he also didn't he have a clonopin. He just went to rehab for clonopin. So I, I love Jordan Pierce. I listen to him all the time, almost every three days. But something's obviously not working well that, if, if he did. went to rehab he did for clonopin because you can die from the withdrawal oh. for that yeah. really so i don't know man <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah supposedly he was able to get off of all of his antidepressants oh once changing, that's good because i feel bad for him i really do like him mm. once changing over to this diet mm, okay. so i don't Didn't know, know. Huh. i'll have to look this up now good yeah. thing i have an internet connection right now let's call jordan yeah let's, let's find see out doing. from the man himself all right guys how's it going <laughs> you have a question, Charles? He does sound like Kermit the Frog. He knows a it little too. bit, yeah. But I just, I, I, I have to uh, just say, and this is on a personal note, that uh, 
I went to Jen for help, what, last week? Mm -hmm. Because I've had it. I've been feeling tired. I've been right. all this stuff. And uh, we we talked for about an hour and a half, and uh, we went over some beautiful facts in her book. And uh, I started um, slowly, started uh, doing, getting into this whole thing. Um, in the few days I'm doing it, I'm. I have got more energy. Great. I feel better. I feel. I feel a lot better than I did weeks before I saw Jen. And we just. Should you we have just not kept, had that? We just sandwich? kept in touch um, <laughs> on a professional level with the with the comics, with the mm -hmm. acting, and and then uh, we went in with the Kate Fox show and did all the health stuff. And I'm sitting there doing the video and. It's amazing what this lady knows, and I'm like, oh my God! I and there's so many things that I'm doing to myself that are really devastating. And mm -hmm. for instance, for instance, um, not Cereal? not eating because I work overnights, not eating on a regular basis, and not uh, not drinking enough fluids, mm. and not uh, drinking enough fluids when I'm supposed to be drinking them There's and the cereal time. the cereal oh, yeah one. and i thought right right and i thought i was saying she goes what do you eat for breakfast and i just made the big mistake because i didn't know i said i got these healthy cereals yeah <laughs> jen just went oh it is a four-page article and i said just read yeah. this and yeah. my my stepbrother cried when he read it because he loves cereal yeah but it can trigger a lot of different problems with people if you yeah. want to fall asleep have cereal for breakfast yeah and uh you think you're having a healthy breakfast and then you go out in the into the world and you go i feel like crap the you claims know? that are there though if you read the box it sounds beautiful i mean who wouldn't want it based on all the things they claim lower cholesterol yeah. heart healthy i mean it sounds good oh you like it, cheerios I, I didn't say that <laughs> you the show host. what yeah. Yeah, I'm just our saying. new sponsor cheerios <laughs> but anyway anyway jen's book um i'm reading it and, and it's the most amazing amazing enlightening you know, piece of literature. Jennifer's book, which is called The Keys to Live the Life, The Life with Genergy. And it's available? It's available only for me. And it's probably going to be like that. So if you know me, I keep track of every <laughs> single person that has it. And it's and updated for almost every person. They I get a have copy. A, I have a copy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if you nice. know me, you if can you get know a book. Me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just it's through me. Yeah, you That's just contact me and yeah. So, I mean, can they actually, like, if they go to your website, can they buy it? I'm going to probably make it available in a couple months to okay. non-clients. It's basically you have to get, have a session with me because oh. the original thinking was if you don't have at least an hour and a half with me, you're not going to even know how to use the book. You're not going to get results because oh. you do need verbal explanations. Otherwise, it's just a book that might sit in the shelf. But I realized, you know what? So There's... it can come with, a, with an audio tape. It, that's what I've been thinking of. Yeah. So then mm. people don't have to book a session with me, but right. I'm just going to make it available in the next couple of months. People just can buy it. And then if they really want to make the most of it, then they can book a session. Or you yeah. can give like a discount on the book if you book a session. Or That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And then they book yeah. a session. You pay a couple it's, dollars. It's nice. basically, I mean, I, I didn't read the whole book yet, but it's basically it's a, a, manu Bible. a manual on life. A Bible. War and peace. How, to, a war and peace how to live a healthy life. Yeah. Yeah. So, social media time. Where can okay. people find out more about you? Where can people sure. contact you? All that fun stuff. Was it Life with Genergy, right? Um, the Life with Genergy .com, the website, um, at Jen Elise on Instagram, and also at The Life with Genergy on Instagram. I have two, just in case you get attacked. <laughs> and uh, Jen Elise Feldy on Facebook. Also, Life with Genergy on Twitter, where's where I go to complain. So, I, I don't recommend That's that. That's where everyone anything. goes. To complain. I think Twitter is ridiculous. So Twitter's just, the point I, of Twitter is complaining. I troll it. I troll everything. Yeah. No. Twitter, <laughs> Twitter's the cesspool of complaints. Pleasure. So, what's the difference between regular energy and Genergy? <laughs> God, that's like, I never thought about that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna just say I don't know <laughs> instead of making whole... something up. <laughs> See, these things just <laughs> pop in my head. I'm like, huh. Genergy <laughs> is much better. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it depends on the day. Yes. <laughs> it's supposed to say yes. It's no, the last two weeks I've been to... off. I would say my it's like energy has been not good. <laughs> But better. <laughs> only it's like energy, only with a J. Yeah, yes. th there we go. <laughs> oh God! There's, there's your new slogan. Right, yeah. energy. It's with energy, a J. but with yeah. a J. Yeah, sure. It's like great energy, but with a J. Yeah. For so deep. For for acting, you've done horror, you've done comedy, sketch yeah. comedy, you've done drama. Uh yeah. What yeah. is your goal to do in acting wise? Like, if someone came up to you with 
a comedy is like I've done so many comedies. I want to do more drama. I mm-hmm. want to do I want to do a musical since you don't sing or mm-hmm. you do sing but don't really. Mm-hmm. Like what's what's your uh, what's your forte? What are you, what what roles are what you looking paints? to get? <laughs> All right. I basically my motto is if you're not laughing, then you're not living. So I just want to make people laugh because that's one way we can all be connected. And, you know, the connection, a lack of connection is a big reason why a lot of people have a lot of issues. It could be body pains. It could be under eating, overeating. So if we can all agree that I'm doing something ridiculous and make fun of me perhaps, or agree on something that's funny, then we can connect on something. So, um, yeah, connection, anything connects us, comedy, because I love to be in a comedic way of being and that's just the energy I like to have all the time and horror because it's funny to produce horror I mean horror is essentially funny like rap videos are, are funny to me they're they're funny and they're over the top it's anything entertaining really but yeah I'm a big fan of comedy and rap and parody videos satire everything everything's a joke to me so yeah. I have to ask about the pokey girl oh, and, yeah. the, and the dog thing those, that's, those are the same <laughs> people that produce those actually yeah, um, Sean Stern, Michael Stern. Michael Stern's a great guy. We just talked to him recently. We worked on a lot of projects. Um, he's a great producer. He's won an Emmy or two, actually, and he, we did these sketch videos together. The Pokey Girl Go was just making fun of the Pokey, Pokemon game, and I was Herpesaur. Oh, yeah, it's actually a funny. They're really funny. They're I think this watching. is the most discussion of herpes we've ever had <laughs> on is, the show. It is, right? It's interesting. Yes. Thanks for bringing hmm. herpes. My here new brand the... at any time. It's, it's... oh man, jerpies. <laughs> it's Jennifer herpes. Jerpies. It's jerpies because it's Jennifer herpes. I hope that <laughs> if you use too much energy, you might get jerpies. <laughs> Three episodes from now, we just got to well, say, good. all right, audience, you need to get yourself. Jerped. That was one of my goals actually to brand myself that maybe I have an STD, so then people will leave me alone. Like like the wrong people will leave me alone. Okay. They think you have chlamydia. They're not going <laughs> to be messaging you all the time. Oh God. It really is a good way to you know time management. I'm sure Tim Ferriss would agree. I'm sure he would. You know, that's how he got his four-hour work week. He right. got herpes. Yeah. 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 Quickly, again, the wait, word wait, wait, comes no, no. up. Quickly, Please don't sue us, Tim. <laughs> Quickly talk about the dog video. Tim, we're dog kidding. Video. We're, we know you do not have herpes. Dog video was not my concept, but I executed it, you know, freestyled a little bit. It's basically it, playing on the idea that girls use all these, mostly women, unfortunately, use these dog filters. So if you're going to go on a date and using the filter and you're going to use a filter, maybe you should act like a dog. If you're going to use a dog filter, you should not pose sexy, but literally act like a dog. So I just channeled my dog and acted the, w- the way that my dog acts with me. Usually guys have to pay more for that kind of action. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I, my, my boyfriend just told me that I'm like a puppy dog <laughs> two days ago. So, and it's true. I'm you very like dog-like. Have your, you have your, like to have your belly rub? I do. <laughs> And I like, like to eat like by the, myself. Like the, uh, the, the scratch, spot right? I love it. You, yeah. I love that. You kick okay. your leg. <laughs> I shake my leg a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I lift it up when I pee. That's good. Yeah, there that's we fun. go. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, separation anxiety. You know, like the people, the dogs cry when their owners leave. I'm kind of like mm-hmm. that. Like every time he leaves, I'm like, you're not coming back. Like that, a dog. It's <laughs> over. Is, is that romantic that you just called your boyfriend your owner? <laughs> I know, right? I don't know if it's romantic. <laughs> wow. It's definitely yeah. on the kinky side. It is interesting. But <laughs> yeah. she's not. Yeah, baby. It's <laughs> definitely um, like lightly bordering into the Fifty Shades of Grey realm right it now. It is. <laughs> we yeah. almost out of time. So we're going to do our final thoughts. So Charlie, since you are to my right, do you have a final thought? Yes. Uh, well, I, again, as Asan used to say, I hope it's not my final thought. But um, <laughs> if you are sitting there and you just hate your the way you feel in life or the way you you know you're feeling tired or anything like that and you don't know why get in touch with this lady she's amazing thank you yeah i will i that's the main i checked goal. and turned this down before Sample, final thought. what's with this final thought is huh? i can verify Dominic did turn down his. <laughs> Thank his, you. His tablet. Because I'm hearing he double so I, I swear. Like, right, I did. Uh, Jen, it's a ghost in the chat. Have you here? Um, I hope you, you enjoyed your time. I did. Good. I did Good. Enjoy my time. Dominic, final thought. Um, you, you two need to go on a date or something with someone soon. You guys need help. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not with each other. Like you know, you need to find oh, like. No. Get out there. Like join <laughs> Tinder or something. <laughs> And that's your final whatever. Thought. Yeah, what that's my the, final right. thought. What is the basis on your final thought? <laughs> you, you just need, you both need to get out a little more. Jennifer, final thought? Honor your, yourselves and each other. Yeah. Hmm. So my final thought is this. Thank you very much for coming down here. You were Loved a it. 
<laughs> extremely entertaining guest. Thank you. <laughs> I, like I said you were very quick, and and I like hanging around people who are very quick because I can too. play off that very well. So thank you very much for that. And likewise. Um, thank you for not taking yourself seriously in any way, shape, Never. or form. I really appreciate that as well because it made it for a better interview. Oh, thank God. Um, <laughs> make sure you guys check out uh, Life with Gen- Genergy, right? Dot com. Mm-hmm. Get the book. Book book the sessions. Get the book. Hire her. For, for acting and oh um, check out your social media for all the videos of which a couple I mentioned you can check out They're really good um, so yeah so that about does it wait does a minute it really mock what are you going to go eat after this I'm going to the gym I'm meeting my mom at the gym but eventually you have to eat so what are you going to eat which by the way oh you know I have a salad packed okay yeah, so a salad. pack a salad it's a good quick, old salad it's actually a quick tip you go to Whole Foods the hot bar you make a salad and then you dump it over already washed lettuce and now you stretch it out to two salads and then you pour your coffee you in it then you pour your coffee in it yeah Oh. So, by the way, Jen has a, a amazing gym in her basement. It's great. Just built it. Just built it. It's great. Is it for personal or public use? Personal, but you can hire personal. me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was so going to do a wrestling show there on Monday, but I'm already kind of booked. So we, we might have a bunch of wrestlers there on Monday. <laughs> I got Don't no place, ask. I got no a, place to go. A, I got no that's place another to go show. There. Don't yes. ask. <laughs> yeah, that, would be an, that is um, another show. It's kind of a shame Brim so, ain't here. <laughs> that about does it for this week on the Came From Radio. Join us right here any week on this radio station. If you miss any part of the show, tough. tough. go to our website, <laughs> www.thecamefromradio.com. Listen to your archives with in a week or so, or check us out on such places as Overcast, Pocket Cast, iHeartRadio, Google Play, iTunes, Breaker, or Breaker, Google Podcast, Radio Public, Spotify, Podbean, Player FM, Soundcast, Acast, CastBox, TuneIn, Stitcher, Podmust, Luminary, Blueberry, MixCloud, Apple Podcasts, Deezer, Podcast Addict, Castro, Pandora, newly added Podchaser, Alexa, or you can ask Siri, or... I'm sorry, that gave me a nosebleed. Uh, you can just wow. Google It Came From The Radio. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Take it easy. You've been listening to It Came From The Radio. Ooh, I can't believe I'm able to say that in one breath. I don't know why you try to say that. I don't know why you try to reflect that of the management, owners, or staff at the station. Um, so that is our behind-the-scenes uh, show of our recording of our show, which will be aired at a later date. Um, our next live show um, will be on the 5th of February at the Samania Mall. Hey, Samania! At 7 o'clock. And our next Facebook live show will be back. We'll be back in the studio on March 18th. That's the next time you'll be able to see our live behind Beware the, the Ides March. Studio. Um, don't forget the, to mock, eh? don't forget the um, BarCon. Marcus um, Aurelius over the here. In the Indie Art Show, which is uh, this we uh, weekend on the 1st. Um... Uh, I want to do a quick shout-out for the, for the 49ers. I'm a 49er fan, so go 49ers Super Bowl Sunday on the 2nd. I don't care who wins or loses, right. just so my numbers come up. Uh, make sure uh, Give me that money. You can, Give me that money. Oh, yeah, since this is going to be on YouTube, you, what is it? Uh, subscribe. And hit, there's hit a bell, bell icon. And like. And, and some uh, all of those. Oh, my God. Things, yeah. um, Follow so, yeah, us. So we we'll need money. Go. <laughs> so we'll see you uh, next time. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>